Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, this is the final, I hope, of my recording faux pas and me having to do a voiceover for my video. This is the final of four Diamond Art Club paintings that I received in a kit recently with a 20% 20, 20 off voucher. And this is the biggest of the four. This is huge. Uh, this one is 55 by 98. Does it give you any hint as to what that might be? I, I do have Sneaky Cat on my wish list. I'm waiting for it to come back in stock and also hoping that it coincides with the sale because it's not a cheap one. This is um, one of my favourite artists. Um, I do really enjoy her work. This is Mandy Manzano's C Melody. There is a bucket load of black in this, you'll see in a short time. So this one is one of the older, sorry, it's not the oldest kit up, I think. Seas, uh, no, Seas the Day was a new one. Um, this is one that had the date of putting together. So this one was dated the 12th of April this year. It says C Melody on the labels and it says the code and it says that there's ABs in this square painting. The kit had everything in it for... Oh, no, the kit didn't have any everything in it. This was in the days before the tweezers came part of the square kits. Um, so there's no tweezers but everything else is present. So two wax, squishy pen, three, three placer I think, and some bags and the tray. All right, I am unraveling and unraveling and unraveling as I'm rolling this the opposite way, slightly off camera. Um, I do apologize um, for doing that. It's the only place I have a little bit of space. There is the instructions for the rookies. <laughs> I think all of us seasoned diamond painters get it and fling it to one side. Now I'm gonna show you how big this thing is. The picture for C Melody fits my phone screen. I don't think any other Diamond Art Club picture does this, but look at that. It fills my whole phone screen. Uh, it's huge. I loved the colours. I can't remember who I saw it um, on, on their unboxing. I uh, absolutely loved the colours in this painting though. They are so incredibly vivid and it's so Mandy Manzano. So this is a mirror, give or take. There's some slight differences with the mermaids. Um, and I'm going to point out where the 1AB is in this gorgeous kit. I think it is the white from memory. Um, no, it's not. It's the yellow. It's all the yellows. Sorry that I'm pointing out there. I will come back to that area shortly, but I think I'm going to try and show you the centre. Um, yeah, this is square. There are some more AB colours now. This, I think, was one of the first ones that Diamond Art Club did with their square ABs. So we all got excited when we saw that release. Um, yeah, so you can see one of the mermaids over there on the right hand side. The mermaids all actually, I think from memory, have different colour hair. Um, I think I was talking here about adding white ABs that I might have spare into some highlights in the centre. Um, and just doing a line, a bit like the typical silver lining kind of finish that you get. I'm pointing at the fish. There are also some dolphin, if I point them out, and that might be pointing at Mandy's signature. I might show you that in better detail. I'm trying to get it weighed down so I can actually um, show you as much of the image as I can on the screen. But look at those gorgeous purples and blues and greens and yellows and the white in the center. Um, so there's the fish and 
you can see the dolphin a bit further up. I think I'm now comparing the mermaid's hair. You've got a brunette, you've got a redhead, you've got a blonde. I think this um, brown, or there's a jewel tone, one is yellow into red. There's Mandy's M's, her signature M's. She gave us a spoiler when she finished this and this was released by Diamond Art Club as one of their new kits. I really love how Mandy has interacted with the diamond painting community. Um, when there was this massive surge of connectivity um, between her and us and Diamond Art Club have just perpetuated this. So. Um, it's an absolute honour to be able to talk with the artist and tell her directly how much we love her work um, and then have Diamond Art Club also interact with us. Um, what am I doing? I might be comparing symbols on Mandy's I Miss You, which is in the role, to... Um, see melody it might be the icons I'm trying to see if the icons are the same no I'm looking for the size because um, see see melody being 55 by 98 is huge and I wanted to see what the size difference was um, I miss you I think is 55 by 78 so there's a 20 centimeter difference which I will show you what that difference is as I'm waving my hands around on the screen and, and that it will start to make some sense. But I think I end up, couldn't find it on my canvas the way I've got it rolled up so I'm going to the website to actually see what size I miss you is so I could give you that information. Because I like to be accurate if nothing else. So while I'm flapping away with that, I will show you the image of this out on my dining table. Look at that! It's huge! That's the entire piece. Um, so as I said, you've got it mirrored, sorry, the shine is kind of glaring off one of those mermaids a little. But I think I show it to camera. A little bit better, at least I thought I did. Looking at the drills, I think I enter, I take these drills out bag by bag. I don't take them all out and spill them all everywhere. Excuse me while I turn my phone to silent because it's waking up. I'm obviously activating it. They are all the blacks. <laughs> Look at all that black. All the 310. You know it's probably a good thing that Mandy doesn't do it in block work and she doesn't like stained glass. Most of those lines are only one or two deep and then she has that extra calligraphy thickened line to give that extra dimension. So yeah lots and lots of black. Um, one large green bag and then there's the other colours that I've got in that selection. Getting into my purples, my favourite, my 550. Um, again, what I'm finding, having to watch this back from an editing point of view and, and try and do a voiceover as I'm doing it, is the shine, which I try and be conscious of, but to show you the colours in the camera. So you can see it there, but it seems to be quite a long way off. Um, Unfortunately, with my camera, it's a fixed focus camera. And if I get any closer, you're not actually going to see any detail anyway. So it's not necessarily an advantage me bringing it close, but what I do try and do is make sure that I get the glare off to show you what the colour might be, even at a distance. So there's one. Pack it away so that I don't get them confused and... Um, again, jokingly suggest to Diamond Art Club give me a job. Not like I don't actually have a full-time job, but look, I got them back in the bag. 
<laughs> All right, next one is probably getting into some of the smaller bags because we've got more variety in the color. Sorry, just throwing down some closing tiles there. There's the yellow. Um, I don't know all of Miss Coffee's terms for the colours, but she does it so well. Candied corn with hot butter and sugar and all these awesome descriptions. And she actually sounds like she's sat in church for far too long because she's able to come out with these amazing prayers for dead drills and <laughs> other things. But yes, there's that gorgeous yellow. I'm hoping I'm going to show you better against that glare, but I've got my lights on quite high. And there's a bit of glare. The um, minty green, quite pale green in the center. Trying to find where it is and where it is on the code. And then rolling it up again. trying to be neat. It's it's certainly not easy um, packing these babies back up but we kind of get there. Um, but again looking at those gorgeous purples, looking at the colours um, it's just yeah it's for me it's um, I wanted to kit up every single one of the paintings that I got so I'd got Two Graham Gherkins, I got a Chuck Pinson, and I got Mandy Manzano, and I wanted to kit up every single one of them as I opened them. It was just like, oh my god, these are just gorgeous. Um, so very much looking forward to doing these. I have a ridiculous amount of diamond paintings in my stash now, um, but I have to admit, Diamond Art Club would certainly be up there in what do I want to do next, so... Um, I might have to just go with my random number picker in order to have some variety between Diamond Art Club and AliExpress kind of things. So yes, just having a another look at the colours, um, talking about the kits and getting ready to wrap up and let you guys go. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing with me with my technical issues and um, Yes, I hope you will check out my other unboxing videos. I have many more from either Diamond Art Club or other artists. Um, so if you check them out, you'd be more than welcome to do that. And um, otherwise, I will see you around. And I am very thankful for you watching. And I will see you soon. I'm getting ready for the wave to say bye for now. <laughs>